Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Danae and this is Budgeting with Nurse Nay. And um, in this video, we are going to see how much I saved in my three uh, monthly savings challenges for September that are completed. Um, so yeah, and we will see where I can allocate that money to as well. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. <music> Okay, so my first challenge we're going to look at is my Sunflower Saving um, by Numbers Challenge by Budgeting with Christina. So here is the final um, coloring job that I did. <laughs> it's not great, but still, it is what it is. I saved money, right? <laughs> All right, let's see how much money I saved. Get it in order here. All right. All right, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 125 dollars we saved. Not bad. All right, let's write it on here so I can add them up. <clears throat> just gonna set it out here. I didn't grab my cash tray, so we're just gonna set it out here and kind of do it like that. All right. So next is uh, Fall into September, which was my Chris Budgets Challenge. This one right here should be $100. It was $20 a leaf. Five leaves should be $20 or $100. So let's see what we got in here. Mm, yep, it's all 20s. All right, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That in the 20 pile, that one was easy. 100 there, all right. So, and then my third challenge, there were other challenges, but they're still going probably through a couple, like, I think there's two other fall, no, one other fall challenges. Um, that's probably gonna go through November because there's quite a few acorns on there. If you've been watching, it's my acorn challenge. So, but I will be adding other monthly challenges to it the next couple months. And this one was my Fall into Savings Challenge um, from Kingdom Planning on Etsy. This one you drew the numbers that corresponded with the amount there. And um, yeah, so let's see how much I saved in this one. It says it should be 150 We shall see. Let's see. All right. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Yep, 150. That is correct. Put this with that. And this is a completed color. Sorry, I don't know if you want to see it. All right, so let's put these down and then we will add it up on my new calculator. If you guys don't know, I bought a Dollar Tree calculator and didn't last very long so I went for the big guns and bought one of these I see everybody with these calculators but they're smaller I ordered on Amazon it's really big but hey this way I think it's gonna last a while and I like the sound it makes when we do it so all right let's count it up here we have 125 plus 100 plus 150 equals 375 Okay, so now we got to figure out where I'm going to allocate this money. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have some envelopes out here, and we're going to use my purple binder to stuff some. We're going to stuff a few envelopes. Um, so first is going to be Christmas, which is this one. All right, so Christmas is going to get $100. So we're going to do that in 20s. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81 for Christmas. 
and that gives us five hundred dollars in the bank and five fifty six hundred six twenty forty sixty eighty seven hundred so we have seven hundred dollars for christmas saved so that's pretty good my goal is a thousand but i'm gonna save as much as i can until november all right so then we're gonna put some in giveaways because I have a couple giveaways coming up. We are going to do giveaways for my change jars to see who can guess the closest how much is in there without going over. And then I'm also hopefully gonna be doing a um, 500 subscriber giveaway. So I'm hoping we'll be doing a lot of giveaways soon. So we're getting pretty close to 500, so I'm excited. All right, so this says it has 30 in there for giveaways. I believe it does. Yep, there's 30 in here. And we are going to put 50. So let's do two 20s and a 10. All right, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. All right that there that is complete all right the next one I'm gonna go into my binder here which is my purple binder sorry guys money's moving everywhere here all right so I'm going to stuff my RN envelope because I do need some new nursing stuff and some scrubs um, we're gonna put 20 in here so we should have 60 so let's add 20, and let's do it this way. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Yep. So $60 in there. Scrubs are expensive, like the nice ones, to get the nice comfortable ones, believe it or not. Um, okay, so next I'm going to do my birthday. My birthday is coming up in December, and I wanted to stuff some money in there. So we're going to do $40 in there. So that's $220, so $20, $40, $60, $70 now on my birthday. So that's a good start. Still have a couple more months. Um, next envelope I'm going to stuff is going to be Candle Day. Candle Day currently has $90. And we're going to put 40 in there. There's two 20s and that. All right, so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. And it says $500 for my goal for this envelope, but I'm thinking like 200, 250 would probably be perfect. And for those of you who don't know what Candle Day is, there's a huge um, candle sale in November at Bath & Body Works right around November. So I'm saving up for that because I love their candles. So, Okay, so there's that. Um, the next envelope I'm going to do is going to be Close. Close has $40 in it right now. I'm going to put $50 in there. Let's see. Um, let's do it this way. 20, 40, 50. We're at to the 40, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. And I, um, I bought the kids all new clothes when they started school, so they are good, but, uh, mama needs some new clothes, so <laughs> that's what this is for. Um, I'm going to put some money in my hobbies. I've been neglecting this envelope as well. Um, and I kind of want to get some stuff um, for like Christmas for my planner and stuff. Um, so we are going to put in 25. So we can do two tens and a five. Ten, twenty, five. So we'll put that in there. Yeah, I'm excited. I had more than I thought I was going to have, 375. That's pretty good, guys. Okay, so that's it for that binder. 
And now I'm going to go to my larger A5 envelopes. I took them out of the binder because I don't really have any room here for that um, binder. So first one I'm going to do is gifts. And gifts, I'm going to put 25 in there. So let's see. Um, let's do a 20 and a 5. Ooh, wrong, wrong. <laughs> okay, 10, one, and we are going to put, what did I say, 25? All right, so let's add this money in here and count it up. So now in gifts, we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71. So $71, I don't know how I got the $1 in there. I must have not quite spent, I don't know. Who knows how I got it in there. All right, so there's that. I have birthdays coming up in the fall and around Christmas, so I wanna bolt that envelope up. And last but not least is beauty. I'm gonna put the last 25 in there. So let's see, 10, 15, 20, and this should be five. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Okie dokie. And I'm fine with the singles in this envelope. That's why I gave them for this, because uh, if I do tip or the lower denominations, that's much better than having uh, the bigger bills. Um, so that works for when I go get my nails done. And this was 25. So now we have, what did I say? Did I say 45? Should be 45, is that what I said? 20, 30, 5, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I didn't count it all up. Yeah, it's 45. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to count it, guys. I'm on midnight shift brain, so forgive me. <clears throat> but this is real life, guys. Mistakes happen. Okay, and that is all I have for you um, in this video. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed by now, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so every time I post a video, you guys will know about it. Um, and smash that like button. It helps my algorithm get my content out there if you liked it. And also, don't forget to comment down below. I love hearing from you guys, talking with you guys. I answer every one of your comments. So, um, so stay tuned for my next video. My next video will be um, my closeout for the month of September video and see where I'm at with savings. And we'll see how much I've saved total um, in my journey since I believe it's end of March. So yeah, so that'll be an interesting video. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, bye.